I'd been to my doctor's for a regular checkup. He said, oh, your, your diabetes is out of control. You need metformin. You need your cholesterol's high. You need uh, Crestor. And here's your scripts. I found Mastering Diabetes. Talked to Robbie. I signed up right away <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> and uh, a year later, my A1C is 5.4. You know, normal range, cholesterol's down. And the funny thing is my doctor goes, oh, yeah, your scripts will be waiting for you out front. Wait a minute. You don't need medication. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> I was so excited. I've been really grateful to be a part of the Mastering Diabetes community. Uh, I've learned so much over the past year and to look back on where I was a year ago, it's it's been an incredible journey. Like this time last year, I was really, really upset. I thought that, not that the world was coming to end, but pretty close. Um, you know, I had been to my doctors for a regular checkup. He said, oh, you're, you're Diabetes is out of control. You need metformin. You need your cholesterol's high. You need uh, Crestor. And here's your scripts. And and I said, whoa, 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 whoa. wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I I don't want to do that. I I really don't. I went to the pharmacy and they said, if you give me another script for the strips, I can, you know, start checking again. They'll upgrade my, my meter for free and all this wonderful stuff. And I was really surprised. He looked at me and he said, why? He goes, what, do you, do you want to poke yourself every day? No, I don't want to. I said, but if I have to, I will. And I said, is this not a tool, you know, to gauge where I'm at? And his attitude was, well, oh, write you this the script if you want i said yeah yeah please do so he did i went back to the pharmacy got my meter got my strips started checking and i was higher than what i was before so i found mastering diabetes talked to robbie i signed up right away <laughs> on the spot <laughs> and uh, a year later my a1c is 5.4 you know normal range cholesterol's down and the funny thing is my doctor goes oh yeah your scripts will be waiting for you out front wait a minute you don't need medication <laughs> and i'm like yes <laughs> i was so excited i had also started uh, watching some of these documentaries like what the hell uh years ago i i had watched super size me and um forks over knives and i'm thinking i, d I don't even know what to eat <laughs> i was almost scared actually scared to eat like what can i eat? i didn't think i could eat corn and potatoes um so when I signed up for the program and downloaded the carbohydrate, uh, the carbohydrate ninja guide, one of the first recipes I saw in there that I started looking through it, I go, roasted potatoes with rosemary. I go, I make that all the time. I love it. So I started with that. I started with, you know, and I go, corn. I can eat corn. <laughs> I was really excited about it. Like, okay, minus the butter and salt. That's the way I used to eat it. But there was different options in there, like with the spices. And it was good. Like, I wasn't missing the butter and salt. You know, I'd put it on the barbecue and put uh, cardamom and, and cinnamon on it. And, and it was wonderful. <laughs> I could eat that. So I started from there. And then I branched out to... Uh, you know, some of the other recipes that they, or other ideas that they had in there. Like I've, I've since tried passion fruit. I, oh, I was so excited when I found them here in my local grocery store. Like 
I've had them on vacation in Mexico, and um, but when I saw them here uh, at the grocery store, yeah, okay. <laughs> Typically, breakfast is fruit. I like green smoothies, and it's very quick, very easy for me. Uh, I go through a lot of bananas. <laughs> I eat a lot of bananas because they're they're handy. They they travel well, and I found that when I make it, when I have bananas, especially in a smoothie like spinach, that's a good way for me to get my greens in as well. Uh, again, with the greens, it doesn't spike my blood sugar. I can have three, four bananas, and I'm fine, and it helps keep me full. Uh, berry bowls, I like I like the berry bowls. Uh, one of my favorite breakfasts is uh, blueberries with uh, mango, and uh, sometimes, uh, if I'm feeling okay, maybe this isn't going to hold me. I'll add, you know, the chia seeds to it, that sort of thing. Uh, lunch is typically sometimes I'll have potatoes, quinoa. Um, again, they're fairly easy. I try and keep things try and keep things simple. Uh, I, I learned that from from Adam. Actually, I loved his webinar uh, with Shift Happens. So lunch is yeah, potatoes, quinoa, uh, sometimes a salad, beans, uh, that sort of thing. And then dinner is usually a, a fairly large salad. There's a, a sweet kale blend uh, that I that I buy in the grocery store here and. I'm still actually not bored of it because <laughs> for me, that's one thing about salads is sometimes you get really bored of, oh, we're having salad again. But this blend, I really like it. It has shredded um, uh, Brussels sprouts, kale, uh, other uh, greens and that sort of thing. So, and yeah, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm still not bored of it. I have more energy. Uh, than I did. I sleep better. And that doesn't surprise me because um, at one point I, I tried raw vegan for about a month just to see if I could do it. This is before I started the program. Just to see if I could do it. And it was difficult. I was happy about it because I was losing about two pounds a week when I was doing this. But looking back, um, I probably wasn't eating enough. And one thing about I, I found with the Mastering Diabetes program is there is so much information out there, like with uh, the online course, like going through all the modules. Uh, it's Plus Cyrus and Robbie, are, they're updating it. I've noticed that. Also on the, the the coaching group on Facebook, there's just so much wonderful support and tips. I noticed when I first started the program, just being part of the group, it was sort of, a, I, I, okay, that's how they do that. <laughs> that's how you do that. That's what they're talking about. Because for me, I think the big thing, what I needed to learn or what I found most helpful is learning how how to shop like I'm buying mangoes by the case now I would never I would never even think of doing that before also handling social situations which can be which can be very tricky but I, I had uh, I had the wedding I had uh, a charity fundraising banquet that we went to uh, family holiday get-togethers you know and and these situations can be hard to navigate those were two of the the big things i needed in order to to help keep this sustainable and uh, so it was in january i i reached my goal and that that's that was another thing too the first module is you know goal setting and that i found was a very po powerful exercise as well like okay why are you doing this you set your goal and and post it like I had it posted on the fridge posted you know where you can see it I had it in my uh, 
in my bag that I bring to work, post it on the, the bathroom mirror. And then you remember, okay, this, this is why I'm, I'm doing this. You get very specific and that helps keep you on track too. Having reached goals that I had set out, uh, losing 28 pounds, 28 weeks, which took me to January. Since then, I've maintained. Um, I've maintained my weight. Uh, blood sugar has been pretty, pretty stable. Like in the mornings, seeing the results, like the blood work when it when it came in, I was really, really happy. <laughs> I mean, I was just so excited. Go for it. Work the program. I'm also pretty lucky in that uh, I work in a greenhouse. So I'm not sitting at a desk all day. And I think that's, that's been, been part of my success too. So the, the program works because it combines diet and exercise. And I believe you need both. And this program shows you how to do it in a way that is sustainable. This program is, is very doable. It works. So yes, there, there are challenges and they could be, you know, different. They're going to be different for everybody, but being able to see what your challenges are and work through them. This program shows you how to do that. It's, it's been a great support. The, the community uh, is wonderful. You know, if, if you if you fall off, nobody beats you up about it. So you get back up and, and keep going, keep keep moving forward. And yeah, to anybody starting, the program works. It really, really does. I've heard others say it. And it's true. Okay. Okay.